Tomorrow night, take a journey with Harry and Meghan. In their own words, emotional, revealing, deeply moving. And how is Meghan dealing with the stress, the pressure of living life in the royal spotlight? Thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay. But it's, uh... And the answer is, would it be fair to say not really? Okay? Yes. Extraordinary access, never before seen video. Harry and Meghan, an African journey. Tomorrow at 10, 9 central on ABC. Imagine a good morning spent with friends. Imagine knowing what's coming next in the day ahead. Well, I get to live this each morning together with you. And that's what makes it such a good morning, America. Live from the WOAY studios, this is Newswatch at 11. Great to have you here tonight on Newswatch at 11. I'm Yasmin Rodriguez. Before we get started tonight, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Tyler Barker with the first look at your forecast. Well, a good Tuesday evening. Temperatures out there today were on the cooler side. We were only in the 50s. We had rain out there earlier, but now the rain is clearing out and we're starting to dry out with clear skies. Temperatures tonight going to be cold down into the upper 30s and low 40s. As you head off to work tomorrow or school, grab the jacket. We will be dry and there'll be a lot of sunshine out there tomorrow. Coming up in your full forecast, we're drying out seasonable temperatures. A quick little brief warm up for the end of the work week, but could we see some rain this weekend? I'll let you know coming up in your full forecast. On Thursday, October 24th, the West Virginia State Police will conduct a sobriety checkpoint along U.S. Route 19, approximately one mile south of the intersection with Airport Road in the Beaver area of Raleigh County. The checkpoint will be in operation from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. The purpose of the sobriety checkpoint is to hear impaired driving and educate the monitoring public about the dangers and consequences of operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. And Brianna Marche Walker of Bluefield, West Virginia has been indicted by a grand jury in Tazewell County with felony murder and distribution of a Schedule 1 or Schedule 2 controlled substance. Walker engaged in text messages with the victim, William Keith Wilson, about a narcotic transaction for heroin. Walker allegedly sold the victim heroin, which was mixed with a lethal dose of two forms of fentanyl. Sometime later, a witness observed Mr. Wilson slumped over in his truck, who was deceased. She was arraigned today, and her case is currently set in Tazewell County to be heard on December 13. A judge has denied bond for a West Virginia man charged with first-degree murder in the death of his wife. Bond was denied Monday for James Michael Kisser, who authorities say had confessed to killing Crystal Dawn Kisser. Kanawha County deputies say James led them to Crystal's body, which was buried in a shallow grave. For years, Crystal filed domestic violence petitions against James. A 1998 domestic violence conviction barred him from owning a gun, but authorities say he later lied when buying one. And police say a West Virginia couple hit their six children with belts and metal objects and forced them to do push-ups and squats as punishment. On Sunday, Mannington police arrested Bastille Ifa and her husband, Richard Douglas Ifa. The punishment would sometimes last from the time the children arrived home from school until they went to bed. The children complained of knee pain after being forced to do as many as 500 squats. The children who range in age from 5 to 15 are under the care of Child Protective Services. The falls are each charged with child abuse resulting in great injury. The Beckley Police Department has released photos of the suspect who robbed a bank on Monday. The suspect robbed City National Bank on South Kanawha Street at around 10 a.m. Monday morning. The images depict the suspect wearing a chimpanzee mask. The suspect then fled the scene on a bicycle. Law enforcement recovered the bicycle and the mass discarded a short distance from the bank. Anyone with information on this incident is urged to contact the Beckley Police Department or Crime Stoppers. The Concord University Research Development Corporation is conducting an internal investigation after an incident occurred on Monday evening involving an infant enrolled in the center. In response, two employees of the center were suspended pending the completion of the internal investigation. A spokesperson said, quote, neither the Child Development Center nor the corporation condones the incident and is continuously evaluating safety and other protocol to be followed by the employees in the center. 
Given Monday's incident, though, additional new measures have been put into place until the investigation is completed. Make sure to stay with WAY for further updates on this developing story. And as a reminder, WOAY is changing frequencies tonight. So if you use an antenna to watch WOAY, you'll have to rescan your television. To rescan most TV sets, visit the TV menu and channel options and select channel scan. The change is required by the FCC and it will happen tonight at 1145. If you have cable or satellite service, you don't need to do a thing. And area delegates were invited to the School of Harmony in Beaver this evening to discuss the importance of homeschool. Reach Homeschool Group invited delegates out to converse with parents and homeschoolers in hopes to share homeschool successes, explain the cold that protects homeschool groups, and to share concerns. Homeschool programs don't have access to some programs, but legislative liaison for Reach, Jamie Buckland, hopes area delegates can help change that. So they're receiving an education, but they're being discriminated against when it comes to having um, extracurricular activities. So if my child hits ninth grade and wants to play football, he can't do that um, in an organized sports setting. I have an eight-year-old who plays trumpet. I would like for her to have an opportunity to march with a marching band when she hits middle school and high school. So right now those opportunities are limited because we choose to educate our children at home. There are over 12,000 students homeschooling in the state of West Virginia, with 697 of them alone in Raleigh County. Well, yesterday, Fayette County Superintendent Terry George stated in an interview with us that the town of Fayetteville, quote, backed out of installing the playground equipment at Fayetteville pre-K through 8. At the time we ran the interview, we had not heard back from the town. Well, today we spoke with Fayetteville Mayor Sharon Cruikshank about his claims. According to Cruikshank, back in July, the town agreed to donate $10,000 to purchase the equipment and donate labor to assemble the equipment. However, when it was purchased, they were under the impression that they would be supervised by the playground equipment supplier like they had been before with other playgrounds they set up. It was not the case this time, and when the maintenance crews from the town began to put up some of the poles, they realized they would need supervision from an expert to make sure the equipment was safe. While it seems like it would be simple, you're talking about the safety of our kids and we want it to be done correctly. And so we were just waiting to hear back from the board about having that supervision for our guys to, to complete the job. So we're just in standby. We support um, Fayetteville pre-K through eight. We support our citizens and our kids, but most of all, we want them to be safe on that playground equipment. The mayor did send a letter over to the Board of Education today regarding the matter, and you can find that on the Town of Fayetteville's Facebook page. For over a year, the residents of Page Kincaid have been dealing with discolored and foul-smelling water forcing them to buy water and leaving most of their appliances stained red. But today, NewsWatch reporter Anna Saunders was there when the state's Public Service Commission held a public comment hearing at the Fayetteville Courthouse. Karen Jeffers, like many of the people from the Page Kincaid community, took off work to go to the 2 p.m. hearing on Tuesday about the water issues. She spoke to the State Service Commission about the water problems she's been experiencing since last August, saying her water has been red with a foul odor, forcing her to buy water and find other means to bathe. I may go uptown uh, to different places and take a bath, and taking a bath in my creek beside my house was a lot cleaner than taking it in the water. Residents voice their concerns about that, plus their high bills that they are still paying despite the unsafe water. The Public Service Commission wanted to make the visit to Fayette County as they prepare to hear solutions in Charleston in November after receiving a petition from approximately 400 residents complaining about the water provided by Page Kincaid PSD. We just thought it would be a good idea to come down here to the community and listen to the citizens and see what is going on and help us get a better understanding when we, back in Charleston, will be deciding whether or not uh, of the different solutions that are being proposed, which solution we are going to pick. Two of the main solutions proposed include a $3.35 million water treatment plan rehabilitation project for the PSD. But for Jeffers, who has lived in Page Kincaid all of her life, she says she wants the water to come under the control of the West Virginia American Water Company because her problem has been with PSD's maintenance. Had it been maintained, I wouldn't be having this problem. I wouldn't need new facilities in my house, in my bathrooms, in my sinks. 
and I want something done. Reporting in Fayette County, I'm Anna Saunders, News Watch. The evidence hearing in Charleston will take place on November 13th at 9.30 a.m. And Brian Safe House, a faith-based residential program in Raleigh County, serving those suffering from addiction, gives out a HOPE Award every year. This year it was awarded to Dr. Earl Parvin, who was instrumental in the building of the new career center, which will now be named after him. The center is complete with new bathrooms, new classrooms, a new laundry facility, and most importantly, a place where their families can come and visit. It was so exciting to see, first of all, they got cleaned up from uh, uh, opiates, opioids. Uh, but then we began to see them put their families back together, husbands and wives, children. In this very room, we see the children uh, coming to visit uh, their dads. That's exciting. There will be an open house on Sunday starting at 3 p.m. The Parvin Day Center is located behind the main building on the campus. Though often perceived to be a problem of inner cities, substance abuse has long been prevalent in rural areas. The Fayette County Substance Abuse Team is working hard to overcome the drug epidemic. Each month, the group has met to discuss issues and concerns on how to educate the community about the program. Kim Brown says having a plan is beneficial to help individuals to overcome a drug addiction. Letting the community create the plan. I'm simply here to facilitate. I let them know that I'm not the uh, expert of your community, you are. So I guide them through by asking questions. If you want more information, go to www.fayetteconnect.org to volunteer. West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey joined a bipartisan coalition of 46 state and territory attorney generals in calling on Facebook, Craigslist, and eBay to take proactive measures against unlawful alcohol sales on their platforms. The attorneys general sent each company a letter Tuesday. They note the 21st Amendment vests the right to regulate the sale of alcohol to each state. The attorneys general argue some of the products sold online may be counterfeit or tainted, sometimes with harmful health effects. The letter asks Facebook, Craigslist, and eBay to take specific actions. And on this day, 42 years ago in West Virginia, the New River Gorge Bridge opened to traffic. It was hailed by Senator Jennings Randolph and Governor Jay Rockefeller as a link to the state's past and future. Mr. Rockefeller telling a large crowd that the new bridge would give the state of West Virginia new lifeblood. Thousands showed up to be among the first to walk across the bridge, would cost $37 million to build. And slow to come on Newswatch at 11, take a look at the great blast fair that happened today. And then keep in mind some tips to remember before Halloween. But first, Chief Meteorologist Tyler Barker coming next with your full forecast. Alexa, turn on the house lights. And now, get a 2019 Escape with 0 for 60 plus 2,250 cash back or 5,250 cash back. Let's do lunch. Break away from the norm and come to Fujiyama Japanese Steakhouse. We're now serving lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Crunch for time? No problem. We now deliver to local businesses and hospitals. Don't just do lunch, do Fuji lunch. And now Fuji on the go. Brad White here, sales manager, King Cole Premium Pre-Owned in Beckley. Come check out our fall special. Like this 2018 Chevy Trax Premier, only $21,987. King Cole Premium Pre-Owned, Robert Seabird Drive in Beckley. You always get more at the Pre-Owned Superstore. We're all part of your community. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. So protect your every day. If you see something suspicious, say something to local authorities. 
Take a ride on the north side and save huge money right now during the end of month sales event at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC in Summersville, where everybody rides. Take home the sharp 2019 Chevy Trax LT all-wheel drive with $25,595, but not at Northside. Drive it away now for only $19,999. When it comes to price, nobody beats Northside, period. Chevy, find new roads. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC on Northside Drive in Summersville. Online at northsidewv.net. See dealer for details. Stormwatch weather is brought to you by Beckley Auto Mall. Come get it all at Beckley Auto Mall. Well, a good Tuesday evening. A look at your bus stop forecast brought to you by Window World. Temperatures as you head off to school on Wednesday in the low 40s, upper 30s. It'll be clear, but have the jackets as in you head home. Temperatures only in the mid 50s, but there is a lot of sunshine. We had a rainy start to the day today, but now temperatures are going to cool as we start to dry things out. Clear skies will allow temperatures to drop down into the upper 30s and low 40s to start tomorrow. It was also a windy day. We had gusts as high as 27 miles per hour for Beckley and Oak Hill, 26 in Summersville, as well as Quinwood, 25 in Lewisburg, 22 in Union, 25 down in Bluefield. Rainfall out there over the course of the morning. We saw on average between a quarter up to maybe six tenths of an inch of rain, so a little over half of an inch for some of us, which will help. The new drought monitor does get updated as we go into Thursday, so we'll be eager to see what we do make a dent in that drought with the rain we saw over the weekend and for today. Future cast showing that we are going to stay dry for the overnight hours. We will have a few passing clouds. Other than that, expect clear skies. It'll still be a little bit breezy out there, and we may see a little bit breeze tomorrow as well. But then going into your Thursday, temperatures on the cold side to start in the upper 30s, low 40s, and then we'll warm back up a little bit warmer on Thursday afternoon into the mid and upper 60s. Our cold fronts push through now high pressures building in, bringing with it that nice dry weather. There is a storm system diving out of Canada that's going to impact us as we go into Friday that could bring an isolated shower to the forecast. Again, the weekend's kind of setting up to be a little tricky. We've got a cold front out to the west and another area of low pressure developing across Texas. It will likely bring in some moisture. The timing of these systems is what's key right now. Does this low pressure kind of skirt too far to the south and not bring much moisture, or does it skirt a little farther to the north and bring more rain? Something we'll have to continue to fine tune. Wind gusts tonight be a little bit breezy at times. We can see them gust as high as 25 miles an hour and we will keep winds a little breezy to start tomorrow, but they will start to relax by the afternoon and early evening hours on Wednesday. Rainfall amounts over the next, say, five to seven days. Look to average anywhere between a half of an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half. So that's something that we will likely need to continue to benefit from so we can continue to erase the drought. Your fall color progress again looks like Beckley Bluefield and Lewisburg is in that little over half 50 to 75 percent color change. Snowshoe right now is in peak color. Temperatures tonight cold. Grab the jacket. Upper 30s and low 40s with a few clouds around. Temperatures tomorrow back into the upper 50s and low 60s. Lots of sunshine. Here's your seven day forecast. We warm up briefly on Thursday to 66. 60 on Friday with a 20% chance of an isolated shower. Again, the weekend still a little bit in question. We do have a chance of a few showers. Temperatures staying in the low 60s Sunday and Monday. And then we'll see them slightly cooler by next Tuesday. Overnight lows right near 50 by the weekend. People got a special performance tonight put on by Air Force veterans. The United States Air Force Heritage Band of America is stationed at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia Beach, but is currently on tour to perform for communities all over the country. The Heritage Brass Ensemble stopped at Woodrow Wilson High School tonight to perform where they put on quite a show while touching the hearts of many. I've only been in two years, but I've, I've, I've shook the hands of hundreds if not thousands of veterans and every single one of them has an awesome story to share. Uh, not even veterans, even family members are veterans. You know, I, I just spoke to a family member today who was just crying in tears, um, saying how much they wish that the brother was here, but they're not. Um, and to hear those kind of stories and to see how much of an impact that we have on, on these veterans and their families, it's really something special. And we will bring you more on this event tomorrow. And so to come on Newswatch at 11, we have an amazing update to a story we brought to you last week. Why shop Beckley Auto Mall? Because of the selection. Because of the people. The prices. Because of the great customer service. We got everything we wanted. 
and we'll be coming back here for our next one. Beckley Auto Mall has been your go-to dealer for years with the best selection, service, and lowest prices. Our people are committed to helping you every day. Come see for yourself. We're at the point of Eisenhower and Robert C. Bird Drive. Online at BeckleyAutoMall.com. Best selection, lowest prices. Come get it all at Beckley Auto Mall. GMC. We are professional grade. It's time to go big at your Toyota dealer. Check out the award-winning Highlander with the best resale value in its class and plenty of cargo space with over 80 cubic feet. Lease an LE now for just $2.89 a month or finance with low 1.9% APR or buy and get up to $3,000 cash back from Toyota. So go big, go in style, and go get the best deal of the year. Toyota, let's go places. WOAY is changing its broadcast frequency. This change, which was scheduled for October 19th, will now happen on Tuesday, October 22nd. Due to these changes, viewers who watch WOAY over the air will need to rescan their television channels on October 22nd. This change will not affect cable or satellite viewers. To rescan most television sets, visit your TV menu and channel options, then select Channel Scan. More information about the transition can be obtained from the FCC at www.fcc.gov or by calling 1-888-CALL-FCC. Take a ride on the north side. Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat on Route 19 in Summersville. And during Jeep Adventure Days, drive home this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn four-wheel drive quad cab. MSRP at $45,400. You save over $10,000 and drive it home for just $34,599. Come in for Jeep Adventure Days and get this 2019 Jeep Wrangler Sport for just $32,814. When it comes to price, nobody beats Northside, period. Shop now at NorthsideJeep.com. Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat, Route 19 in Summersville. Everyone's talking about Kimmel. They said he's the most important host in late night. Really? They said he's late night's clearest voice. They said I was extremely well endowed. Oh, no one said that? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. With the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado's now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing, or trucks with best-in-class camera technology, or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. The only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Or get a total value of over $9,500 on this Silverado with a larger, more functional bed than any competitor. Or during truck month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern West Virginia Chevy dealers. Take a ride on the north side and save huge money right now during the end-of-month sales event at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC in Summersville. Check out this 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 Crew Cab SLE 4-wheel drive. It was 51315 but now at Northside, just $39,995. Save over $11,000. And 0% financing up to 84 months on select new GMC trucks. GMC, we are professional grade. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC on Northside Drive in Summersville. Online at northsidewv.net. See dealer for details. Welcome back. Halloween is almost here and hundreds of trick-or-treaters will soon hit the streets dressed up in costumes going door-to-door -door for candy. Chief Stan Ellison with the Mount Hope Police Department says the most important thing on everyone's mind should be safety. Parents are urged to closely monitor their children's trick-or-treat activities and help keep them safe by complying with these safety recommendations. Their costumes should be sort of, you know, have a piece of fluorescent tape or something to reflect, you know, and so forth. And even these little glow sticks that the children can buy to carry to help show, uh, you know, they're out there, you know, so drivers and other people can see them. And just to be cautious and travel in, in groups. Chief Ellison adds, if a piece of candy has been opened, to throw it away. And today is National Make a Dog's Day and for one local dog, it couldn't happen at a better time. Last week, we brought to you a story about Matter, an American Fox and Basset Hound mix puppy who suffers from neurological issues and cannot use its back legs. Well, after several fundraisers, the nonprofit organization Owl's Angel Rescue raised over $2,500 in three days for his first MRI visit at Virginia Tech. So many good-hearted people out there um, that that it that made her touch their hearts, and they were able to help us out and donate. And I hope that it makes them feel as good as it does us that they are truly saving this dog's life, and and for him to be able to to live life as a regular a regular pup soon. So we will continue to follow Matter's journey over the next several weeks. 
And still to come on Newswatch at 11, West Virginia football may be off this week, but the Mountaineers' complete schedule for 2020 is now set. Sports director Matt Digby has more after the break. Introducing Fairness from U.S. Cellular. We're committed to doing what's right. That's why we have no hidden fees, no surprises on your bill. Because in wireless, treating people fairly is a choice. Now get unlimited data for just $30 plus no hidden fees. All on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. That's the best value in wireless. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Take a ride on the north side to Mid-State Ford on Route 19 in Summersville, where Truck Month is being extended. Save over $10,000 on select F-150s that are all over the lot. Like this 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew four-wheel drive. Not the MSRP at $50,125. Right now, save over $12,400 and drive it away for only $37,700. Come on down to the new lot on Northside Drive in Summersville and see why people from all over West Virginia are choosing Mid-State Ford. Everyone's talking about Kimmel. They said he's the most important host in late night. Really? They said he's late night's clearest voice. They said I was extremely well endowed. Oh, no one said that? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. With the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado's now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing, or trucks with best-in-class camera technology, or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. The only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Or get a total value of over $9,500 on this Silverado with a larger, more functional bed than any competitor. Or during truck month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern West Virginia Chevy dealers. Be on the lookout for the dreaded digital dead walkers. Dude! They're not looking out for you. Engage! A public service safety message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Good evening. West Virginia football has this weekend off as the Mountaineers are hoping to figure out how to stop their three-game skid before heading to Baylor for a Thursday night matchup on Halloween. Meanwhile, the Big 12 announcing its conference schedule for the 2020 football season. WVU will begin league play next year at home against Kansas State on September 26th. Additional home games will include TCU, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Baylor. As of right now, no weeknight games for the Mountaineers, but there is a chance their regular season finale at Iowa State could be moved to Black Friday. Also, no change to the non-conference games. They open with Florida State and Atlanta, then have home games against Eastern Kentucky and Maryland. The latest playoff ratings for high school football, the same seven teams that were in the top 16 of their respective classes last week stay in the top 16 this week. The Wyoming East is now 15th in Class AA. Greenbrier East, Bluefield, and Shady Spring among those moving up. Greenbrier West and Millard Trail still in the single-A top six. The two will meet each other in Charmco in Week 10. James Monroe and Independence are just on the outside in Class AA. Senior night for Woodrow Wilson Volleyball hosting South Charleston as part of a triangular game one off a lady flying eagle serve. Molly Riggs sets for Isabel Weimer. Her shot is not returned. That point goes to South Charleston, but Beckley would have the early momentum. Asia Stewart to Casey Fansler. She sets for Morgan Coulter. Her spike deflected out of play and Woodrow Wilson wins game one. Game two, Jada Powell set up for a spike, but Beckley able to keep this point alive. Katie Edwards sets for Alicia Salon, who records the winner, and their momentum will continue later in game two. Powell sending the ball over. Fansler over to Edwards. A quick set for Savannah McMillan, who records the spike. That point goes to Woodrow Wilson. And then later in game two, Coulter keeping this point alive. Fansler passes to Emily Martin, who opts for a short winner as the Lady Flying Eagles win this matchup two games to zero. Well, the second match of the triangular featuring Princeton and South Charleston. Game one, Michaela Lewis passes to Lake and Seagraves, who sets Jada Powell up for the spike, and the Lady Black Eagles lead early, but the Tigerettes would rally. Bethany Burks over to Haley McPherson. She sets for Carmelia Perkins. Her shot lands in, and that point goes to Princeton later in game one. Liv McKinney able to keep this point alive. McPherson sets Sam Ellison up for the spike. However, South Charleston would win a close game one. Over to game two, off of a Black Eagle serve. Ellison passes to Reagan Bailey. Kalissa Robertson shot is blocked by Lazaria Jackson. That point goes to South Charleston. And then later in game two, Burks to McPherson over to Perkins. Her spike is not returned. However, South Charleston would win this match two games to zero. And the third match of the triangular, Woodrow Wilson wins two games to zero over Princeton. 
Well, high school soccer sectionals continue on Tuesday. Boys AAA soccer. Princeton wins at Woodrow Wilson. Peyton Brown with a hat trick for the Tigers. Greenbrier East wins over Riverside, so the Spartans will host Princeton Thursday for the sectional title. Girls soccer scores. Woodrow Wilson wins on the road at Princeton and Greenbrier East also into the sectional finals. So indeed, both finals will be in fairly on Thursday. Over in class AA single A, both Oak Hill teams play their semifinals on Wednesday night. Well, in the latest edition of our Lewis Nissan Athlete of the Week, we go to Fairley. One of the Greenbrier East Spartans is on the football team is just a couple days removed from leading his team in come-from-behind fashion in their road win at Ripley. Kyle Vassar has the story. Spartan fans have been packing their brand new bleachers this year, and boy, have they been getting a show. One, two, three, four. Family comes first, and the Greenbrier East football family knows that. We're a tight group, and everybody's got each other's back. On Friday, senior Kyle King showed what it means to have your teammates back. No one knows how grateful we are to have Kyle. It's, it's a blessing, honestly. With his team trailing in the fourth quarter, Kyle stared the challenge in the face. Oh, going into overtime, I knew he had it. We had the momentum going into the fourth quarter. Uh, we were down 14 going into the fourth quarter. We came back, and in overtime, I knew we weren't going to quit until we came out there with a win. Kyle scored his third and fourth touchdowns to tie the game in the fourth quarter. His fifth touchdown of the night was the game winner in double overtime. Touchdowns for What better lesson, you know, for our guys to learn you know, based on what we've been preaching all year long is, you know, how to overcome adversity. We just kept battling back, and that basically just showed the heart and character of these guys, and I'm so proud of them. Now in his fourth season on varsity, Kyle has elevated his game to lead the Spartans to a 5-2 and two record so far, but he's definitely faced his challenges. My freshman year and my sophomore year, I was always just so much smaller than everybody, mm -hmm. and I think that's definitely been the hardest thing. But Kyle's intangibles have set him apart. When he's done at the end of those four quarters, you can tell he's given everything that he's had to put out. And, um, you know, you can't ask for anything better. We always tell him, if we have to carry you off the field, we don't mind. Major commitment out of him. He has definitely led this team into what it is today. And I think he will lead us to glory, victory. Glory and victory for the Spartans is trying to go 1-0 each week. And with the character they're showing, it looks like a glorious season. He's just a great young man, you know, to have in our football program. And, you know, whether he plays football at the next level or not, he's going to be successful just based on the lessons that he's already shown out here on the football field and what he brings to, a, to any program. He's going to do the same thing when he gets in the professional environment. And a tough matchup for the Spartans this Friday as they go back on the road to Parkersburg South. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. Congratulations to the Athlete of the Week from Lewis Nissan. It takes hard work, dedication, and determination to win this high honor. With high expectations from our teachers, parents, and coaches, these fine athletes will turn into our future leaders. Be sure to come out and support our local sporting events. After all, this generation is what molds the future. Come see us at One Plaza Center Beckley or call 1-800-TIA-BECKLEY or online all the time at lewisnissan.com. Take a ride on the north side. Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat on Route 19 in Summersville. And during Jeep Adventure Days, drive home this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn four-wheel drive quad cab. MSRP at $45,400. You save over $10,000 and drive it home for just $34,599. Come in for Jeep Adventure Days and get this 2019 Jeep Wrangler Sport for just $32,814. When it comes to price, nobody beats Northside, period. Shop now at northsidejeep.com. Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat, Route 19 in Summersville. The Honda CRV is perfect for people from all walks of life. From the daydreamers to the night riders, and the carpoolers to the lone wolves. Let's not forget the young ones and those young at heart. No wonder the CRV is the best selling CUV over the past decade. Now is a great time to shop the number one CRV clearance event. Hurry in today for a great deal. Be. Be around. Be around friends and family. Be there. Be there for someone. Let us be there for you. Be cared for by a dream team of 1,000 physicians globally, right down the street. Be well. 
be alive. The new 21st century. Be here. We're celebrating Jeep Adventure Days at Sheets Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beckley. Get a 2019 Jeep Renegade Sport 4x4 was $27,970, now as low as $17,970. Or buy a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude Plus 4x4 was $33,985, now as low as $23,985. And don't forget, Ram Power Day. 0% and no payments until next year on all 2019 Ram 1500. During Ram Power Days and Jeep Adventure Day, nobody beats Sheets. Take a ride on the north side to Mid-State Ford on Route 19 in Summersville, where Truck Month is being extended. Save over $10,000 on select F-150s that are all over the lot. Like this 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew four-wheel drive, not the MSRP at $50,125. Right now, save over $12,400 and drive it away for only $37,700. Come on down to the new lot on Northside Drive in Summersville and see why people from all over West Virginia are choosing Mid-State Ford. And just coming into the newsroom, departments are on scene of a residential fire in the Cranberry area of Raleigh County. The call came in about an hour ago, but thankfully no one was home during the scene of the fire. And before we go, here's one more look at your final forecast. From Brooklyn, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Ta-da!